Oh yo, what's going on guys? Happy mother effing Monday. I am back, Mario Kaleo, and this is another wonderful installment of From Grateful to Greatness. I sound like a radio host. All right, coming at you with the top 10 at 10, whatever. <laughs> uh, every episode of From Grateful to Greatness starts off with me being grateful. So I'm grateful for my wife, my family, my friends, everybody who follows me on social media, all of you for taking the time to watch these videos, and God in the universe for allowing your boy another day on this planet to talk to you. I'm also grateful that uh, the weather's better finally. It's warm. I'm not wearing my big winter coat and my winter hat. Uh, it's a nice day out, man, and I just got out the gym, so I'm chock full of endorphins, baby. I'm all pumped up and ready to whoop today's ass. Um, on a side note, I, I'm a weirdo and I like Mondays, man. I'm probably the least pumped up on Saturday, believe it or not. I think it's because I like spent all week kicking my own ass, so by Saturday I'm pretty like, whoa, you know. But yeah, I like Monday, you know. I, I'm not one of those people that gets up all pissed off, you know. I, You know, it's nice. Fresh week, brand new crop of days to kick ass, smash goals, chase dreams, all that shit I always say, you know. Anyway... Today's video is called Undeserving, and the reason it's called that is because I'm going to tell you guys a little bit of personal stuff, and not that I don't always, but so a couple weeks ago on Instagram, somebody, uh, we started, uh, a guy messaged me, and we started talking, and then uh, we exchanged phone numbers, and he, because he wanted, basically asked me if I'd be his mentor, right? <laughs> so I... You know, I was like, wow, what a cool thing to be asked. But then another thing inside me was like, me? Like, why in the hell would anyone want me to be their mentor? Like, I'm a fucking clown. I'm a goof. You know, these are what I'm, this is what I'm saying to myself. Like, why would I be anybody's mentor? Like, who the hell would want me to tell them what to do every day? Or, or in general, who would want advice from me on a consistent basis? Um... And, you know, I didn't say anything about it to anybody. And then I told my wife and I laughed about it. I was like, man, that's just funny as hell, ain't it? And she looked at me with this confused look on her face and she said, why is it funny? And I said, because I'm, I'm an idiot. Like, I'm a clown, man. They, you know, I like I said, this is like three weeks ago. I'm like, you know, why? I, I get like I do the motivation stuff, but I also feel like I'm not anybody's mentor. Like, what a strange thing. And she goes, why is that funny? Why are you why are you talking like that? You are absolutely people's mentor. You are exactly who people should be talking to for advice. You're somebody who speaks from experience. You're somebody that they can relate to. And I said, I guess I just don't feel like I deserve to be somebody's mentor. And she was like, that's your problem. You feel like you don't deserve the good things that happen to you still. She was like, of course you deserve to be somebody's mentor. Of course people look at you that way. They should. Look at all the stuff you've accomplished. My wife said that to me, right? And she's so awesome. She says that to me. But it really hit me, man. Like, you know, why, why don't I deserve to be that? You know? Why not me, right? Why don't I deserve to feel good about everything I've done? Why don't I deserve to feel confident about who I am and more so who I'm becoming. Why don't I feel confident about this role I'm taking on as a motivator? I mean, hell, I, I, I mean, you guys probably follow me on Facebook. You know that I'm going to be speaking at a weight loss event soon. I mean, why, do, why did I feel like I didn't deserve any of that? And I don't know. I guess I was still holding on to the to the fears and doubts and the insecurities of the past, the things people thought of me in the past, the things I thought of myself, that I, I still had yet to create a low, um, I mean, a high opinion of myself. And I, and I started really thinking about that. I guess I didn't bring it up till now because it was something I had to really, really contemplate. This is, a, this is an issue that I think a lot of people deal with. I think a lot of you guys deal with it. Maybe in, a, in obviously not in the same vein, but... There are so many people out there who are still so imprisoned by the regrets and the mistakes that they have that they feel that they don't deserve to be looked at in a positive light. They feel like they don't deserve to have success. They feel like they don't deserve to be looked up to. Um, and they feel like they don't deserve a, a life 
that's beautiful and, and full of joy and happiness and, and the life of their dreams. A lot of people, I think, feel that way. I sat there and I really thought about that and it hit me like, you know what, man? I work my ass off every day of the week. I'm talking every day. Like I'm editing a second book. I'm working on comic books. I'm going to school. I work 10 hours a day. I hit the gym twice a day. And in all my free time, I spend it talking to people I've never met in my life, trying to help them to make their day a little bit better. And I'm not saying this to toot my own horn. What I'm saying is I'm trying to stress a point. To those of you listening to this who work hard at what you do, and you're a genuinely decent person, you actually just spend your time doing quality things with your life, and you're out there, you're a good parent, you're a good spouse, you work hard at your job, you are positive, you are actually trying to improve your life, you absolutely deserve to feel good about that. And more so than that, you absolutely deserve the success and the accolades and the positive um, consequences of that work. You deserve that success. You deserve your dream to come true. You know how long it took for me to, I mean, it took me weeks to get this into my head. It took me weeks to finally accept what my wife said to me. I actually started doing something on Instagram where I was like, excuse me, where I felt like, you know what, if that's the role I'm in and that's who I am, let's see how, how far it can really go. And I started to do a Monday morning motivational message to anybody that wanted it and 17 people signed up for it. Like I, I was dumbfounded. I couldn't believe that so many people wanted to hear from me on a Monday morning. But once again, it's like, why not me? I've been working my ass off, man. I put positive vibes out into the world. I'm genuinely trying to improve people's lives. I work my ass off, so you're damn right. I do deserve it. I deserve whatever comes with that. Whatever positiveness, whatever dreams, whatever success comes with it. And I'm stressing this point again because the point of me making this video is not to toot my own horn. The point of me making this video is to tell you watching this. You hearing me? If you're working hard every day, if you're going after that dream, if you are a decent person and you care about how other people feel and you're working hard to make the lives around the lives of the people you love around you better, you deserve everything that comes with that. You absolutely deserve to feel good about yourself. You absolutely deserve the life of your dreams. That's it for today. Kick Monday's ass. Remember, all you need is a start and some heart. Peace.